Hey everybody, it's Margaret, and today I'm coming live to you with a video about vintage wrapping paper. And um, what spurred this on was that recently, well, this week, I sold two sheets of vintage wrapping paper, uh, and I shared it in the group uh, in an international league of thrifters, and just shared, you know, how much I bought it for, which was about between twenty and fifty cents for both sheets, and they both sold for. $30 for the combined. So I shared that and there were there was a lot of interest in wrapping paper. And so I thought, well, you know, what? let me come on. I've talked about it off and on in different haul videos and sales videos. Um, but I figured, you know what, let's talk about it now because some of it's, you know, it's starting to sell a little bit more. Maybe it's the season. Um, but yeah, and there were there were different comments about, oh, it's I've got some, but it's just sitting there and yeah, so I thought, okay, let's do this. Let's talk about it because I enjoy picking up vintage wrapping paper. And when I say that, I mean this kind. That's like, it's a flat. It's not in a big, long roll. And um, one, I like it because it's flat <laughs> and I can store it super duper easy. I mean, this this whole stack probably cost me, let's see, some of it I bought all of it for a dollar and the other, I mean, probably maybe two bucks for this whole stack. And It'll bring you know quite a bit of profit once I show you you know how much I'll be able to get for each sheet. So yeah, I mean if you think at least five dollars, you know between four and seventeen dollars in some cases profit on a uh, vintage wrapping paper. So yeah, I shared that in the group. I, I should have pulled it up, but I'll show you in just a second my um, Etsy page and uh, show you what kind of things I look for and what all I'm selling so let me say hello in the chat real quick because we are live and I hope you guys have brought your questions <laughs> if you have any and I will hope I can answer them hey going on Grimpy and HB Picker and Kathy hello hey Cindy Roach Cindy says she's excited she's off work today and saw the message that I was going live she found a box of gift wrap her sister had purchased to sell on eBay before she passed away I'm sorry about your sister but I'm happy about your gift wrap <laughs> Hey, uh, Joni, good morning, and Ginny, and Maggie Doodle, and Cindy, hello. Okay, so I got into vintage wrapping paper sort of by accident. I was at a an auction, you know, it, it was it's one of those where you can go preview the auction. Some of you may remember this, I because I, I would go through with the my camera and do like a walkthrough when they have the walkthrough days, and then you bid online. So I found this big, I mean, it was a big tub of vintage wrapping paper, and I thought, you know what, let me, let me go on it. And so I bid on it, I think I won it for 12 or 15 bucks, and there was a lot in there. Uh, so I won it, and then started realizing, wow, I can make quite a bit of money on this. So ever since then, I look for it. So where I look for it, let me just jump into that. At different thrift stores, depending on where, where your thrift store is, um, or how they handle their wrapping paper. Sometimes I find it with like the craft supplies, like let's say Goodwill, they'll have like on the top of the clothing racks where they'll have all the crafts. Sometimes I find it there. Uh, and generally there, it's about 49 cents when I find it there. Sometimes 99 cents, but usually about 49 cents. Um, so I'll pick it up for that price. And then at smaller like charity shops, they might have it with the regular gift wrap or greeting cards or things like that. Sometimes you have to dig because it'll be mixed like that. And that's where I look for them generally. And sometimes I even find them at garage sales, not quite as often. <clears throat> but well, I did the last bunch I found it was at a garage sale and I grabbed it all up and just said how much for all of the how much for all of this? And she said a dollar and I said sold. So I don't know if I have that one. There's, there was a Michael Jordan one. I don't think I have that one in this stack. No, I don't. Um, <clears throat> okay. Hello, Christian Flan uh, Flannery. She says, I have a bunch that I haven't listed yet sitting here next to me as I list. Maybe this will inspire you. Yes. Hello, Ali Oopson, kicking with Reggie. Oh, I'm missing some people. Hello, Kelly and Matt. Hello. Um, okay. <clears throat> She's, um, oh, I'm going to say your name wrong. Alice Yops. Hi. Um, we sold a pile of Laura Ashley wallpaper and border for $225. Seven rolls of wallpaper, seven rolls of border. Yes, it's out there. And I've, I've looked at border, and I know Nadine um, of J&A sells border. I've looked at it, and then I just, 
I, I haven't really jumped into that yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Hello, Julie, Thrifty Paper Garden. Okay, so kicking with Reggie asks, how do you know if it's vintage? Good question. So, um, generally, if there's a label, you can look at the label and tell, like this one's vintage because it was 35 cents new, right there. Sometimes you can tell um, based on like the price sticker. Where do, I had one here that had like an old JC Penney's price sticker on it. Now, of course, I can't find it. Um, so sometimes you can tell based on the label, but let's say you're looking at it and it doesn't have a packaging or anything. It's just like this. So you don't know. I mean, you might be able to tell because the edges might be browned a bit, but really, um, it doesn't matter too, too much because you can, even if it's new, you can still sell it on Etsy. And the reason is that it can be viewed as a supply because people that um, do scrapbooking frequently use vintage gift wrap with their scrapbooking or maybe they're doing some decoupage or maybe you know what I mean you can use vintage gift wrap as a supply so even if you find it and it's new like here's one this one might be new Santa who knows who I can't tell is this new vintage not sure um I don't know so I could still list it on Etsy even though I don't know because you can put it under supply, and then when you hit, when there's that drop down, it'll say, you know, scrapbooking supplies or sewing supplies, and I just select scrapbooking supplies. I think there may be one for paper stuff too, actually, there. So, good morning. Oh, you're getting snow, Julie says. Um, so that's how I, I know. I mean, honestly, if it's vintage or not, I know I put vintage wrapping paper in the title, and generally when I find it flat like this, it's usually usually vintage but sometimes you still find newer wrapping paper like this not quite as often though um cindy asks so vintage versus newer how much is the max that should be paid i generally pay anywhere from 10 cents to maybe 50 cents if i find one that i know i can sell for 17.99 or 19.99 i might pay more a dollar but normally if it's more than a dollar i don't think i've ever paid more than a dollar for vintage gift wrap but if I if it was one that I knew like if I found princess and the frog gift wrap okay it's not vintage but I'm gonna buy it if it's $2.99 because I know that subject matter it, it has a great audience so Disney ones t depending on what the um, subject is Disney ones can do well so um, those ones I, I might pay a little bit more on to a dollar maybe maybe two dollars but I know I can get more for them if they're new if they're still new and sealed if they're if they're open and cut you can still sell them and get a good profit like here this one's open and cut um but it just brings it down a little bit not even a whole lot but a little bit depending so oh here's the one that had the JC Penney sticker on it so I knew that was vintage you know but then they are recreating a lot so you know Okay, so let me pull up. Wait, I had a couple questions before I pull up some, um, I have some windows open. Let's see. Oh, Connie asked, how do I ship them so they don't get bent? And I actually did a video. I've changed the way I ship them. The video I did, I, I start off the same. So you take the wrapping paper and I get two pieces of cardboard and I you know, put on each side, cardboard, cardboard, and I might put a tape, a little bit of tape on the sides. And I used to wrap with brown paper. I don't do that anymore. Now I, um, I put the two pieces of cardboard and then I get a um, poly mailer. It's, I think the size I use is 15 by 12. And then they, it just slides right down into the poly mailer and then it's good to go. So that's how I ship it now, and I guess I should remake that video because the one I have up is out, out of date. <laughs> so yeah, poly mailer, cardboard, good to go. And, and usually, especially if it's on Etsy, I like to make it look nicer. So once I have it in the cardboard, I might wrap it with some tissue paper, handle that voice, and then um, you know put my card in there and everything. So <laughs> Julie says, you're the wrapping queen. I mean, wrapping queen. <laughs> <laughs> and apologies in advance um, my boys I see you I see you my boys are home you know for the holidays and so we are they're here and the cats are here so there may be randomness because it's live so okay <laughs> all right so next question is um, let's see how do you know if it's vintage sometimes you can tell by the pattern or the flowers okay we kind of talked about that 
And then how do I know how to price it? So let's, let me talk about how I price it. Um, generally, depending on the subject, like I said, if it's a Princess and the Frog or certain Disney ones, I'll price higher. And then ones that are just sort of a plain design like this, might go for something like $9.99 or if it's cut and it's a smaller piece sometimes you know like $7.99 um, but watch also like here's one so it looks like it's still new in the package but frequently people will just cut the edge and it might it might have supposed to have two sheets in there and there might only be one and so that will drop the price a little bit sometimes so let me pull up some some windows and I will show you that. Uh, Cindy asks, do you do free shipping or ad shipping? I don't do free shipping. Um, I used to, I tried it out. The reason I don't do it anymore is because on eBay, I take best offers. And sometimes when you try to explain to the person who's sending you an offer, well, I need to have like three or four more dollars added onto this for the shipping because shipping isn't really free. <laughs> so it just, it took some of that pressure off, you know, because someone will say, well, I'm not going to pay more than $9 for that. That's crazy. But, you know, well, three of that dollars is your shipping. You know, really, you're paying $6 in shipping. So I just quit quit doing that. And that, there was a question earlier about eBay and Etsy. Do you sell them on eBay as well as Etsy? I do. Pardon. Hey, stop, please. Thank you. <clears throat> um, I cross post everything. So it they go on eBay in Etsy and then when one sells I just take it off the site and I'll show you too like which ones have sold on eBay which ones have sold on Etsy so you can kind of get an idea it's really it, it it's about the about the same um, and they you know somebody said you know they they have some and it just been sitting there well they are they can be you know what they say long tail so depending on the subject matter on it like I had some that were steampunk they sold pretty well I can show you which one sold fast too um, in the on the sales sheets, but but because there's so I mean this is it like I can put that on a shelf and not have to mess with it It's small. I don't mind it with the profit. I make off of it. I don't mind it sitting for a while at all Okay, let's see Some wrapping paper will have the date mixed into the printer along the side too. Oh, that's good to know I haven't uh, paid attention to that and someone mentioned something about tropical Oh, topical gift wrap, not tropical. <laughs> I bet tropical gift wrap would do well. Topical gift wrap is good. I scored on some Pokemon wrap a couple months ago. Awesome, Julie. And you know, I was just out with um, Tanya the other day, and I found some. It was Michael Jordan when he played for the Bulls, and it was it was still new, like Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan gift wrap, still in the package and everything. Hey, Angie. Hey, uh, Suma's mom. Hello. And apologies if I miss you in the chat and I don't get to say hello. Hello, King Flip and One Witch Lady. Um, Suma, I'm going to say your name wrong. Sam Oz Mom, do you pr use promoted listings on Etsy? I have not. Um, well, let me take that back. When I first started on Etsy, I tried it out, but I didn't see really a difference in my sales, so I quit doing it. Um, so I haven't done it in a long time. And One Witch Lady says, I never know which wrapping paper is good to pick up. Generally, if the price is right, I pick it up because I I used to think I thought that too. Like, oh, I'm, that's not really cool. I don't like that, you know, whatever wrapping paper. But to me, it's it's you know, to me it may not be cool. To somebody else, it may be. Like this, I wouldn't, you know, I may not have normally picked it up. But then, just because it's not my style, doesn't mean it's not somebody else's style. So I learned pretty quickly that I just pick it up if it's cheap. <laughs> You know, because if, if it's 10 cents, a quarter, 50 cents, and I have the possibility of making, you know, 10 bucks profit, then yes. Oh, and, and Angie says Current's a good brand. Yes, Current is a good brand right there. There's the brand name for that one. Okay. Do you measure it if it has been cut? I do. Um, and it's usually pretty, pretty easy to, I mean, it's quick. Mo I mean, most of it's pretty quick, and then the measuring of it, it's, you know, Frequently, when I find it though, it's just one, it'll be like this, and then like one of the sheets will be missing. But yeah, and I just show, you know, hey, it's been cut. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Let me do a screen share of some of the ones that are up. And this is, this will go into how I price it. So let's just take a look at Etsy. So this is just 
Etsy, you know, and I typed in wrapping paper, you know, vintage wrapping paper. So we're looking at what is up there. And I see some that I think is priced too low, personally. You know, like this is a vintage Barbie wrapping paper for $6.99. I really think they could probably get a lot more for that. But maybe they don't want to wait. You know, that's the thing. So some of them, like here, vintage Santa wrapping paper, $30. And it's really, I mean, because you can see the style of it's really different. I mean, not different, but desirable um, that it might go for more. And this one, again, vintage precious moments. I think that could, you know, be listed for more. All right, I'm going to do a search now. Instead of relevancy, I'm going to search by highest price just so you can see what else is out there. Let's see. Good morning, Tanya. Hello. Okay, so vintage wrapping paper. Oh, dear. Now we've gotten into some other stuff. Next day, French. Let's look at this one. $130. Woo, mama. Uh, French, new old stock. Okay, okay. This is something else I saw. Um, I don't do this kind of wrapping paper, but keep an eye out, y'all. Because when I was doing my research, this is department store wrapping paper. So it's like these big giant rolls, you know, when you go to the department store and they used to wrap your presents for you. I saw some on eBay as well going for this. So if you see a big ginormous roll like this that was... Um, like looked like it was from a uh, a department store. Pick it up because yeah, one hundred and thirty dollars for this big roll. And there were some on um, eBay I saw as well. You know, they look like this. Isn't that awesome? I never I never even would have looked at those because I don't do wrapping paper rolls. Um, so okay, these are again the big giant rolls. Well, golly, let me jump down some more. <clears throat> These are not exactly wrapping paper. Okay, so here we go. Vintage wrapping paper. They've got 12 assorted pieces for 30 bucks. Here's one that's got a wedding, looks like a wedding shower wrapping paper uh, for $30. And the thing is, the reason I think people will pay for it is if they've got a theme going, if they're having a vintage wedding, that, you know, they're, they'll, they're willing to pay for it. Or if they're doing their scrapbook and they had a vintage wedding, They'll pay it. So let's look at this store, Silver Elms. Looks like they've got a lot. And they price their wrapping paper high. Look, they've got the Santa one. Let's look at their solds and see what. So they've got four sales. I don't know how long they've been open. And here, you know, it's some, these are stickers. Okay, so they haven't sold their wrapping paper at that price. I've sold some that were that were up there, though. I think 20 was the most the, that I've sold wrapping paper for. We'll go look at it and see. So they've got theirs up for $30. Um, generally, like $19.99 is some of the most that I've sold. And here they've got a lot for $25. Bucks. All right, let's see. Let me let me get out of this and I'll see in the chat. Let's see. Do you ever buy from another seller to flip it for more? I haven't yet, but I would uh, if, if I thought that I would get a good profit for it or buy a lot. You know, you can buy a lot of it because somebody maybe doesn't, oh, I don't want to sit there and part it out and like one at a time. And, you know, so on eBay, they, someone may just say, here, a lot of wrapping paper for 10 bucks or something like that. And you might be able to, you know, bring it home and part it out and make make a good profit on it. Let's see. Julie says, rolls are harder to ship, but I make a box like the priority shipping two boxes. Ah, yeah. Have you sold some of those? I need to go back up in the chat. Maybe you've said that. Hey, Jen Pudgy Pickers here. Hello, hello. Um, so, so yeah, I've never bought it because I have enough. I still have some I haven't listed like this is not listed right here. Um, so I don't want to get more, but I like that it's small and, and flat and easy. So I don't mind having it. Um, Jen says I've done that at my antique mall, not on eBay. Cool. And Vita says I recently picked up some gift wrap at an estate sale, but if you have barcodes, should I be concerned as it relates to age? I wouldn't. Again, you can still list them on Etsy, even if they're newer. Just list them as a supply, not as a vintage wrapping paper, because newer ones will still, you know, people will use them for, for scrapbooks and things like that. Boys, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, Angie says, what brands besides current are good sellers for you? I think I've, you know, like, um, okay, that's current. Uh, Hallmark makes them. I see you back there, guys. And then I have sold some Disney ones. Current is a really good one, though. We'll look at my sales and see. <laughs> um, 
Angie says, didn't barcodes start in 1979 in the 70s? You know what? Funny story about that, <laughs> barcodes. Uh, this was about a year ago. I was at a garage sale, and a lady had like a, a trunk, you know, like a trunk you would lock, you know, not even a big fancy steamer trunk, but one that was like made of uh, pressed wood, you know, and she was telling me how it was antique and it had been passed down through her family, blah, blah, blah. I opened it up and there was a barcode sticker inside of it. And I was like, well, you know, bar barcodes aren't antiques. There's no, <laughs> there's no way this is an antique, you know, and she was trying to get a hundred bucks for it. And I'm just thinking, you're out of your mind lady. And she was like, Oh yeah, it's still it's antique. That's just that don't even pay attention to the barcode inside it. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> um, all right, now I've kind of got off topic. All right, let's take a look. Let me show you on my Etsy what I have up and what I have sold so you can kind of get an idea. But as far as pricing, I might type in, you know, like here I've got what are these irises? Like Iris watercolor wrapping paper, you know, purple iris color wrap, wrapping paper, and see what all pops up. Let's just do that. Let's see. <laughs> so I would know how to price this. Purple iris wrapping paper, like that. <clears throat> Search. So here we go. So here's some. Six bucks, six bucks, six bucks. Um, I'm not going to price mine for that. I just don't, you know, unless I, if I just have one sheet and it's torn, you know, if it's cut, then maybe, I mean, I think $7.99 is the lowest I've gone. Again, because I don't mind waiting. I don't mind. I'm not even showing you. I'm just talking. <laughs> Let me screen share so you can actually see what I'm talking about. <laughs> here we go. So here were the, uh, I typed in purple iris wrapping paper. Um, so you can see lavenders, irises, six, people are charging six bucks. And here's, here's the thing. Okay. Let's look at the Etsy calculator that I have up. Let's say I charge $6 for it, and let's see what my profit would be. This is why I don't charge. I paid a quarter, let's say, 6 bucks. My profit would be four eighty-two. That's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> usually, I don't charge anything. I usually am at seven ninety-nine, so my profit would be six eight six sixty-eight. You know? No, because I want to know what my profit's going to be, right? So six ninety nine, my profit would still be five seventy five. So maybe I shouldn't be so snooty with my seven ninety nine. <laughs> okay, let's see. In the chat, she says, "I'm hearing people are writing just what I was thinking." Uh, Angie says, "Pay no attention to the man behind the screen." <laughs> oh, Oz. Okay, <laughs> so. Da, 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 da. Great minds think alike. How about gift bags? Paper, vintage gift bags, and tags. I haven't sold those. I haven't sold those. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at my actual sales and listings and things on on Etsy. The reason I'm going to show you where did it go? Oh, here it is. Um, the reason I'll show you my Etsy is because I can kind of show you my eBay there as well. Am I not showing you the right screen? Hang on, I'm still showing you this. Pardon me, guys, I'm having a little technical problem. There we go. So on eBay, you guys know you can't see past a certain number of months on solds. So here is my dashboard on Etsy, and I typed in wrapping paper. So this is what I have active. These are still up for sale right now. So these are different ones, some Christmas ones. I have it $9.99. Here I've got a small lot of four sheets of floral um, for $14.99. So some of them I have as a lot, some of them not so much, depending on what they are and how cute they are. You know, even this, which, which to me, this is not fancy. It's just plain yellow flowers. I have it up at $9.99, just because. <laughs> Paddington Bear, $17.99. <clears throat> and again, I do this because I don't mind waiting. So here, these are sold out. Um, these ones are ones that sold on Etsy. The ones that are inactive, those are the ones that sold on eBay because once they have sold on eBay, I make them inactive on Etsy. So I can still see, you know, which ones sold. So here we go. These are ones that I have sold, and you can see the prices on Etsy. Is this moving for you? I'm trying to get it where I can see everything. Okay. <clears throat> and you can see the price as well. So like these birds, they sold really fast. So nice pictures of birds. Um, 
those sold for twelve seventy five. Kittens. I mean, th this will kind of give you an idea of what will sell more quickly than others. Other things. <laughs> so oh, the birds sold fast. Cats sold pretty quickly. Um, this one must have been a cut sheet. Yeah, one sheet. I sold for six seventy five. Hollies and berries and flowers fourteen ninety nine. This was woodland animals. So Beauty and the Beast. This one sold for nineteen ninety nine. Okay. So this is this is how I took the pictures of it. I see any tips on phot photographs. So I'll take like close up shots of some of the images, and I'll take a one shot of all the. So there were two. Let's see if I can make it bigger for you. There were there was a sheet of paper. There was this was tissue paper, and then there was two gift cards. So I would take a picture of all of it laid out, and then close ups of what it looked like up close. That's what a close up is, right? <laughs> So, okay, go back. Go back. Yes, discard changes. Um, <clears throat> so these ones, you know, sold pretty quickly after I listed them. This one was funky. I mean, look at that with the pink and the orange. This girl was funky. <laughs> See, that's a Hallmark brand one. So that sold pretty well. Discard, yes, discard. Um, and she sold for $14.99. So it looks like, you know, like cats and dogs sold pretty quickly. And then the Disney one, here's a Little Mermaid. This one sold for $19.99. Southwest, 10 bucks. These are the two that sold just recently. These went to the same person. The birthdays and the presents went to the same person. So, and that was, let's see, $20, $24.99, about 25 bucks for both of those. So, let me check the chat real quick. Um, Vita, Vita says, meant to say photographing gift wrap still on the plastic wrap. I get an awful glare. I guess I would maybe take a picture without the light on it and then brighten it up and after, you know, after the fact. Uh, Julie Thrifty Paper Garden says, tissue paper from designer stores can sell well as well. And Cindy says, what are you taking your pics on? Is that a white sheet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a, um, my, let's see if you can see it on this one. You can kind of see it. The, the photo, the tent that I have has this like white sheet in there. I could have brightened it up and make it look better, but I just didn't. Um, so yeah, it's like a white sheet that came with the photo tent that I use. Okay, go back. Discard. Julie says, photograph at a slight angle to eliminate the glare. And Maggie, hang on, let me come out real fast of the screen share. Maggie says, do you sell vintage wrapping paper on eBay or just on Etsy? I cross post them. I put it on both. So here I'll show you the ones that sold on eBay because the ones that are inactive on Etsy means that I, you know, deactivated them when they sold on eBay instead of Etsy. So inactive, 21. So here's a, a breakdown. You can see uh, sold out on Etsy, 18, inactive, 21. So that means 21 of them sold on eBay. So it looks like eBay actually did a little better. So these are the ones that sold on eBay, rainbows, babies, woodland creatures. And see this one too, 675 for these rare. You know, I guess they're okay, but somebody really liked them. Let's get this picture up. Come on. This is a brand I never heard of, K Crest. I don't think the brand was what they were looking for. They only took two pictures. How about that? <laughs> so I think they were, you know, more interested in the print than the, the name. Uh, discard changes. Do you get more money for it on eBay or Etsy? Generally about the same. So here, this Lion King one sold for $19.99. You can kind of get an idea. Vintage, this is vintage Christmas one sold for $24.99. It was 10 sheets, so it was a whole bunch of different ones. I made a, it was a lot of all these different ones together. But still, come on. If it was like 10 cents each, it was a buck maybe. So it sold, you know, for $24.99, which is a good, a good deal. So Disney, Disney, here's some golf ones. This is another one. So if you, let's say I paid a buck for it. Here's my, is my calculator pulled up? I wanted to show you guys that. So let's say, because there were 10 sheets, let's say it was a dime a sheet, a buck, sold for $24.99. I know this is on Etsy, but my Etsy calculator. So the net profit there is twenty-one eighty-three. eBay's 
would take a bigger chunk. So maybe it'd be closer to 19 bucks, you know, because eBay takes a bigger, a bigger bite. But you know, if you, even if you sell it for 14 99, like a lot of mine sold for 14 99, the profit there is 12 48. And it costs about $3 to ship. So it's about two, I think it was like $2 and 60 cents or something like that to ship. Okay. Let me see. Cindy says, how do you know to list as high for $24.99? I just, I, I put big prices on things just to see, cause I, I'm not worried about, I, I don't mind waiting. And you know, when I do a search, let me, let me do a search real fast on Etsy and see what made me do that. <laughs> So here's, that's eBay, I'll come back to that. So let's say I do um, vintage Christmas gift wrap lot. Let's see what pops up. So when I, when I, cause there's not really a website. So when I search, I just do that. I type in what I've got. And then I look to see what's out there. And it looks like, that's what I'm seeing like here, vintage 24 lot, they're selling 24.56. Vintage paper lot, 25 bucks. Um, so, and then I just kind of scroll through and see, you know, here's 1970s gift wrap, 25 bucks. And I do look at what, what the higher ones are, $22 for seven sheets. So, yeah, this one's got 19 pieces for $7.95, but I prefer to do the higher end. Why not, right? Here's one that's just like a lot, it's been cut. So some of mine that are cut that I have here in my lap, I might do something like this so I don't have to measure them out. I might just say, here, here's a lot of, you know, baby gift wrap, vintage baby gift wrap that's cut and ready to go. Okay, so there's that. Let me see if I have any more questions <clears throat> in the chats before I move on. I think that's it. All right, so let me look on eBay. Let me show you eBay real fast. So. <clears throat> The reason I didn't pull up my sales on eBay is because I think you can really go back so far. So here is eBay. These are, do I have sold up? Yep, sold. <coughs> Pardon me, vintage wrapping paper. These are sold. Look at this one. Old lot of magazines, poster, human, okay, the wrapping paper. They just have a whole lot of stuff, 50 bucks, okay. This is the Chris, uh, store wrapping paper, $35. Hey, Henry, in the chat. This one is Return of the Jedi. They took a best offer. Oh, this is the store one again. So you can see, I mean, it just kind of, it's all over the place. This is another big lot, 10 sheets, $24.95. And again, these are sold. Look at these cats. I would have priced these for more because look how awesome they are. Those cats are cool. <laughs> so I think you kind of maybe get the idea. Five bucks, five bucks. I go higher because <laughs> I like my profits. So basically, like, look at this one. Okay, this one's awesome. Vintage mod team, gift wrap, skating, 19 bucks, three bids. So there were people fighting for it, you know. So really cool ones like, like that. And I had one that was similar to that with the ladies with the hats on or something like that. That sold, I don't think it sold for that much though. So yeah, just take a peek. It's out there. Keep an eye out for it because you can get, get it for pretty cheap. Stop screen share. Okay, so I think that's all I got for you. And I will recreate my shipping video at some point when I have some more that sells. Um, just to share with you. Yeah, like look at this one. This one's really pretty. With this vintage lay, it's like one sheet. It's not a full sheet either. But let me see how big it is. It's like this and it's cut like so. But I'm, I'm still thinking, you know, that I'll put, that's really awesome. You know, I may still put $9.99 on it just because it's so awesome. And when somebody's doing their scrapbooking or somebody's really like, I need that pink vintage wrapping paper for my sister's wedding because that's her theme. It's perfect. They're going to pay it. Boys, boys, I'm almost done, honeys. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that I'll, I'll probably put $9.99 on that. And then on eBay, best offer. Look, it's even raining. It's supposed to be good luck, right? She's got her... That'll be some nice uh, keywords I'll put in there. <laughs> anyway, okay, so thanks so much, you guys. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any more questions, leave a, a comment down in the comment section down below if you're watching this later. And let's see, is that it? 
<laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, uh, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will talk to you guys later. I'll see you later. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.